NVIDIA Corp. entered the market capitalization as a major chip maker. NVIDIA has a net worth of over $2 trillion as of March 7, 2024. Its market cap has increased by 286.70% in one year. It is one of the major companies worth trillions of dollars of market cap, like Microsoft, Apple, Aramco, Amazon, and Alphabet. While many of these are household names, NVIDIA has only recently gained widespread attention amid the AI boom. Its chips went from a video game niche to a whole new level to power enterprise AI models, the industrial metaverse, and self-driving cars. A unique opportunity popped out in NVIDIA's way, and if you think NVIDIA would skip this chance, that's not quite right. Let's go back to 1997. NVIDIA was on the edge of bankruptcy, but luckily, in 2023, NVIDIA broke all expectations and hit trillions of dollars in the stock market. That's pretty amazing for a company to do that in that bad situation. It was a shock for the giant companies as NVIDIA became a strong rival. We invite you to join us on this journey and stay with us until the end to find out how it all began. NVIDIA is a technology company built in 1993 by Jin Sun. Jin Sun Huan, a 60-year-old man, a Fortune Business Person of the Year, and one of the time's most influential people. In 2021, he immigrated to the U.S. from Taiwan as a kid and studied engineering at Oregon State in Stanford. He met his co-founders in the early 90s, Chris Malakowski and Curtis Priam, who shared dreams of including 3D graphics in PCs. At that time, computer games were entirely CPU-based. Video games were evolving, and graphics, especially 3D graphics, relied on considerable floating math point processing. The math compressor in the CPU was simply not enough. So this was an issue that needed a solution. This is where NVIDIA took the role of developing video games. The founders believed that the only solution to ensure this was a dedicated GPU. So NVIDIA started by designing and manufacturing graphics processing units, GPUs, and became the primary graphic chips provider for gaming. This was just the start. When NVIDIA first started, it had some serious competition, but its founders didn't care much. They believed in their vision and released G-Force, featuring more advanced 3D graphics and lighting techniques, which rose above its competitors quickly. In 2004, NVIDIA Core developed CUDA, a language similar to C++ used for programming GPUs. It allows programmers to directly program to the GPU, rather than wasting time and effort with 3D graphics libraries. This allowed them to write massive parallel programs to execute high-performance floating-point processes such as simulations and visualizations. In 2006, NVIDIA wanted everyone to learn. This was a new language they created, so their founders worked hard to ensure that CUDA would be taught in universities. And for real, they succeeded in teaching it in more than 200 universities worldwide. Two years later, they released the new Tegra line of Systems on a Chip, SOC, that combined an ARM CPU with a scaled-down NVIDIA GPU. This was primarily used by car makers for in-dash systems, but also Nintendo adopted the systems to use for its handheld Switch console. For NVIDIA to grow, it started acquiring small companies like Mellanox Technologies. Get your free ebook now on personal branding by commenting down below, NVIDIA. Don't waste this opportunity. With time passing, it changed its interest towards high-performance computing HPC and artificial intelligence AI. Today, NVIDIA joined the club of giant tech companies and has already established itself in the gaming market. By 2012, NVIDIA wasn't just powering graphics cards, they had new use cases, data centers, GPUs in the cloud, and, of course, training artificial intelligence models. It turns out, the same parallel processing method, which was used useful for rendering graphics was ideal for deep learning. NVIDIA believed that this could change the world of technology, so it focused on making chips specifically to train AI. They call it the Deep Learning Division in NVIDIA Core. NVIDIA specialty GPUs are used to train and power generative AI tools such as OpenAI's ChatGPT. The viral AI chatbot debuted at the beginning of the year and amassed over 100 million monthly active users within two months. NVIDIA rose to the challenges after Jensen won, bet on his company's chip that one day it could serve as the brain for artificial intelligence. The first time he tried the new chatbot ChatGPT, he asked it to write a poem about his company, and he was absolutely amazed by the great results he had. 
At that moment, no one could describe his pride and happiness over the major success his company NVIDIA made. For much of the past 30 years, NVIDIA chips have been the main engine for ultra-realistic explosions and lush foliage in video games such as Call of Duty and Counter-Strike. But sooner, these video games were heading with the flow of artificial intelligence. And for that, what did he do to solve this problem? Jensen Wan, with the help of his team, worked hard to build a server designed for AI. And the first one was delivered in 2016 to Elon Musk and Sam Altman, founders of OpenAI. It has the size of a briefcase and contained eight interconnected graphics processors that could digest in two hours what would take a traditional computer processor more than six days. Jensen Wan went personally to deliver it to the startup's office, but it was a gift for this giant two-man force. And as he explained how it works and what it contains, Musk beamed at this silvery box like a proud father. Keep watching to know all the details, it's not yet over. Since Nvidia is now worth over $2 trillion, there's no way that this happened overnight. It would have been a miracle if that happened, but you know what? The real secret remains in the leap in its stock market, which has a value of over $2 Two trillion dollars in early 2024. Shares of the chipmaker, based in California in the United States, have risen significantly and nearly tripled since the start of 2023 partly driven by a wave of artificial intelligence AI innovations in the past year. Chipmaker NVIDIA is now worth nearly as much as Amazon. At recent Google I.O. and Microsoft Build presentations, artificial intelligence was the chef that centered the stage. These giant tech companies showed their latest technologies, AI tools, and strong interest in including artificial intelligence in their ecosystems. At this point, NVIDIA comes to save the situation with its hardware and software and shows as a key supplier for companies and developers trying to build new technologies with AI. And with artificial intelligence rising across the globe, its great influence became crystal clear that AI can change the future of technology for the better. Now, NVIDIA is reaping its rewards while other chip makers suffer because of the tensions between the US and China and the chip shortage that has weakened the demand. The thing that makes NVIDIA different and reliable is that its chips have relied on Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company to make them, which guarantees that if you are an investor Investor at NVIDIA, you are safe. Another player entered the game in 2023. India wanted to join it by manufacturing these chips, but at a lower price. It announced an incentive of $10 billion for semiconductor manufacturing, and it is poised to have major success over the next 10 years if everything goes its way. Well, we have to wait and see how it'll end with India. It started to get interesting. Keep watching. NVIDIA has put its hands over the crypto mining process too, which can solve complex mathematical problems that require a huge computer power. So GPUs with good parallel processing became a must in the crypto world as well. This is the reason why their market cap went up in 2021. NVIDIA uses specialized GPUs for deep learning, like A100 that costs more than $10,000. ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, ended up spending a billion dollars acquiring chips from NVIDIA. The same thing happened for Amazon and Facebook. No matter who wins the AI race, NVIDIA is already the winner because, as you see, all these giant companies are using its GPUs. In addition to NVIDIA's core GPU and gaming businesses, NVIDIA generates revenue from other sources, such as its professional visualization, automotive, OEMs, and data center businesses. The company's professional visualization products are used in various industries, including automotive, architecture, film, and entertainment. But its main income was coming from its gaming business for several years. But in 2023, it decreased a bit because not many people are buying gaming GPUs or cards to mine cryptos. This was not a big deal for NVIDIA because it has a backup plan. Their data center revenue was growing nonstop because of the AI boom. On the other hand, NVIDIA is spending most of its money on research and development to be the best in the market. Reuters says the stock's value has tripled in less than eight months. NVIDIA is the most important company on the planet in an era that is rapidly rapidly changing towards one that greater AI capabilities will emphasize. CFRA research analyst Angelo Zeno said it outstood the giant companies and it is worth way more than Facebook, Netflix, and 
and Tesla. But like we said, this can't happen overnight. It needs dedication and hard work, and we can't forget the risks for NVIDIA to come this far. Join our family in the tech world and hit that ring bell to get notified when a new video comes up.